Welcome to this easy full flight tutorial for the BAE 146 for MSFS. We'll be using the MSFS world map to plan our flight, so we need to disable the built-in FMC the first time we load the plane. This option can be found in the EFB and this only needs to be done once. Now the airplane will follow whatever flight plan you make in the Sims world map. A tutorial on how to plan flights in the world map can be found in the description below. So let's begin our flight. Engines on from a runway start. As usual, we'll hit B to set local altimeter. Heading over to the MCP, we flick the nav mode switch to RNAV. This sets our flight plan as the nav source. We'll also enable LNAV on the autopilot, so the plane will follow our route. We'll also tune our destination ILS on the NAV1 panel. At London City, this is 111.15. An important note, the active frequency is displayed at the top of the nav panel. The lower frequency is standby. We'll also set the course for runway 27 at London City. This is 272. You can find ILS information in many ways. An explanatory video is in the description. We'll also set our cruising altitude. 18,000 feet is about right for this short flight from Cardiff. We'll also hit altitude arm. We're all set for takeoff. Parking brake off, throttle up and rotate when you hear the call out. Gear up at positive rate of climb and roll off flaps as speed increases. Enable vertical speed mode this will hold your climb pitch and enable Autopilot Master. Manage your throttle as you climb to stay below 250 knots. Above transition altitude, adjust your altimeter to standard pressure. As we climb, let's explore a useful feature of the EFB. This moving map allows you to track your flight. When you pass 10,000 feet, throttle up to accelerate beyond 250 knots. Manage the throttle as you climb to stay way below the overspeed barber pole. At cruising altitude, the airplane will level off. Altitude arm and vertical speed will extinguish and altitude will illuminate. Continue to manage the throttle during cruise. Pay close attention to the barber pole. At cruise, you can set decision height on the radio altimeter. Your descent will likely be guided by the MSFS ATC. First, dial in the given altitude. Enable altitude arm. Pitch the nose down to your desired descent attitude. Autopilot will briefly disengage. Enable vertical speed and re-enable autopilot. Idle the throttles for descent. If you encounter icing during the flight, anti-ice can be found on the overhead panel. As you pass through 10,000 feet, put the airplane into altitude hold mode. Let it decelerate to 250 knots. Once at 250 knots, re-enable altitude arm. Pitch the nose down and enable vertical speed to continue your descent. You can use a combination of air brakes and throttle to maintain your airspeed during descent. At bottom of descent, the altitude light will illuminate as the airplane levels off. As we get closer to approach phase, check approach speeds on the chart pinned to the bulkhead. Another way to check flight progress is on the pop-up VFR map, which will be replaced by a GTN 750 map if you have it installed. Just before turning on to final, decelerate to approach speed and apply flaps and gear. For approach, flick the nav source switch down, then select VL for localizer and GLS for glide slope. Established on the ILS. When the plane starts to descend on the glide slope, manage throttle to maintain approach speed. Disengage autopilot at any time during approach to continue manually. Idle throttle near the threshold, apply air brakes and flare for landing. 50, apply brakes 40, on touchdown. 20, 10. 
And that concludes our tutorial flight. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe for regular tutorial content. Take care and I'll see you next time.